Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video, this time from Ibiza. So Ibiza is an island owned by Spain, it's very well known for its parties, at least that's what I thought. But after I came here I realized that Ibiza is so much more than just uh, rowdy parties and nightclubs. So definitely if that's what you're into, this is the place for you and it's also why a lot of people go here. But it also is really good for sailing, freediving, beaches, exploring. The island is way bigger than what I thought. And in this video, I'll be trying to show you a little bit what we get into as a group here in Ibiza over the next couple of days. So we're currently doing a huge Europe trip with my friends from the Philippines. It's a lot of fun, like jumping around all over Europe making videos. So if you like travel vlogs and, and fun, entertainment then consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Today we have rented a sailboat and we're gonna be sailing from Ibiza out to Formentera. It's an island I've heard a lot of good things about and uh, we brought the freediving fins, good food. We're trying to show you what, what this experience looked like. So come along. Earl, what's happening? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm making the excess hairs. <laughs> <laughs> making look good. Yeah. <laughs> this is our backyard. Actually to be honest we have a, a giant pool here in uh, our villa, but we haven't used it that much because there's so much to see around Ibiza and we're here for a limited amount of time, so we're we just jumping around, but beautiful villa. We also realized that here in Ibiza, there's actually been a couple of cases where people steal people's luggages and stuff. We found that online, so on this trip, we've been trying to not post where we live until we're gonna leave. So that's something I just wanna recommend you about, something that we're trying to implement in our travels is not to reveal where we are before we've left, just because of theft and other things. It's nothing to do that we feel threatened, but it's just that when you start hearing about these things happening, you get, you become more aware. Uh, what else was I gonna say? I knew I had something on my heart. Oh yeah, here's the thing. Prior to this Europe trip, I'd actually been doing six months without drinking. I didn't touch alcohol for six months. It was amazing! I never felt so productive in my entire life. I think I haven't gone probably more than one or two months without drinking or socializing with alcohol since I was like 18 years old, maybe 16, don't tell my dad. But, uh, <laughs> so it was good for me, it was really good for me. And then, you know, coming on this trip, I was like, okay, I, I feel like I've, I've, I've done my part and it's time to party again. So I do feel a little bit reduced. You might see my face. I'm a little bit tired, it's been, it's been fun, you know, but uh, definitely can't wait to, to get back on uh, now I'm drinking again. What I need in my life now is a surfing trip somewhere. Girls are getting ready. Welcome to the girl Sorry. salon. Check it it's it against out. the light, I think I'm it's so against the light. Uh, Ariane, this is a great here. camera. It can oh. catch you in all light. Sorry, I underestimate <laughs> your camera, okay? This oh. where we can get ready. Can I see the lighting? Can I see? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. Again, again, oh. again, <laughs> again. Oh, oh. Please like, comment, subscribe, Arian Bautista. Hello. 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 Yeah, it, it is but worth it. But it's bulky it. and heavy. I know, yeah. it's bulky and that's why I hate to carry it. But it's fun, I get good footage. I get good footage. Yeah, so, so this is Marika's and Kat's yeah. room. But also, this is where the girls this uh, prepare. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Yeah. We got a new friend, Marika, say hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. I'm in Netherlands. I'm doing my Dyson. Uh, wow. Uh, she got a, I actually watched the... She got a it's Dyson. The it's the Airwrap, yeah. The it Airwrap. saved my life. <laughs> yeah. It's so easy. Oh, yeah, it's life. easy. You take one hair Does it stay yeah. for a long time? Yeah. Your curl? Like for the whole day? Yeah. Like for the whole day. Yeah. You go afford, babe. One day, I can afford yeah. it. Um, Dyson, Bikinaman. Dyson, we're willing to post. <laughs> yeah. So okay. come, yeah. follow, follow. Please, please give us a tour. You know, we want Here's a tour. Here's the pool. Wow. Have you shot the pool already? We actually have shot the pool. We've shown them the pool. Oh, okay. Very the beautiful. pool is here. Yeah. They never clean it. <laughs> I, I just kind of told Jake that we need to have a party here tonight. Yeah, you know? but do you think you want to swim there? Actually, I have. Oh, but I mean, oh I, you have. Yeah, let's throw some more chlorine in there and jump in. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. And you know, in Tagalog, it's called sampayan. Sampayan, what does it mean? Where you hang your uh, laundry clothes. Oh. Laundry clothes. Sampayan, sampayan. <laughs> when you wash your clothes and then you, you hang it there for them to dry. I'm gonna learn Tagalog next year. It's one yeah, of my um, my big goal. Yeah. Uh, it's not easy to travel with Filipinos. The culture is, it's it's not, it's, easy, it's not easy, but I do enjoy it. I do it's enjoy it a lot. <laughs> and this is our living room. Hello, yes. cat. Good morning. Good morning. It's a very beautiful villa. Yeah. It is a very beautiful villa. We have a big kitchen where we're cooking breakfast every morning, and dining table. You know this. Have you 
show them? I actually haven't. Actually, oh, now no, it's clean. It's very, uh, no, no, I think it's clean. Messy. I did the bed this morning, so this is me and Abba's wow. room. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Insert the... He is doing chores now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, enough about the villa. You guys, let's go jump on the sailboat. What? We made it to the port in Ibiza. We rented the boat out. It's 1,050 euros for an entire day. Breaks it down to about 100 euro a person to go on this adventure. You need cash. Cool. Enjoy. Bye, guys. <laughs> okay, so there's a small boat to get to the bigger boat. And. Arvin and Earl are going out with all the liquor and everything. Hopefully they don't sink. This is like a very important moment. <laughs> there they go! Large. Hola, yeah. Uh, Ave told us that for Mendera is beautiful. Have you been there? I never. Oh my, I'm so excited. I'm Another excited. two, 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 I'm very excited. Larbs is the friend from the Philippines that I uh, look at when if I need something new style, some <laughs> new shoes, what's in, what's not. This is Guess the guy. what, guys? This is a sleepwear. This is the guy. Follow him on Instagram for fashion inspiration. This guy's very wow, talented. Us in. Hey. 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 hey! Hello, friends! <laughs> okay, finally out on the yacht. I don't know if you can call it a yacht, it's more like a. What's it called in English? It's called a catamaran. So this is the boat that we're going out with to Formentera. What a dream this would be to own one of these. Just sail around, have a little family on it. <laughs> yeah, there's people doing that, man. Good morning guys. I'm back in Paris. So excited to be here. It's uh, one of my favorite cities to visit in Europe for sure. A lot of people will tell you that Paris is not a place to visit for some reason. But me personally, I have nothing but good experiences from this place. Today, we are going to Disneyland. Yay! <laughs> I'm very excited about that. I'm here with my fiance Ava and her friend Kat. Single job. Single. Oh, single. <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I've never been to a Disneyland ever before. I'm happy that mm. your first time is with us. Yeah. And in Paris! Yeah. Yeah. This is one of my favorite. Actually, this is my favorite. Disneyland. Oh, Disneyland. I just think the castle is more beautiful here. So I'm very excited to see that. Mm -hmm. And hopefully get to see a little bit of Paris too. We're only here for two nights before flying out back to Southeast Asia. So this is our last stop on a big Europe trip we've had. But come along, let's go explore Paris together. And I mean, we're in here in September, the weather's pretty warm, look at that. Yeah. Not a problem. This is why we're here actually, because it's cold when there. There, <laughs> when there's no sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. Amazing. Girls first. Welcome. Let's go. Okay, we have a ride for our breakfast place. And here there are breakfast restaurants everywhere. Yeah, check it out. Super cool. 
This is Paris to me, just walking in the streets, taking it all in. Everywhere is like a restaurant, everywhere. It's good wine, shopping. Check it out. Let's just look at this. Just like the seafood is out in the street like this. Malamig palabes. Malamig. This is it, girl. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Look at that place. Oh, he kind of ruined my shot. <laughs> we'll try that again. Okay, three, two, one. Wow. So cute. Look at that place. Okay, seated at the restaurant now. They do have English menu, which is great. I see all the prices are like 10 euro plus. Yeah, it's good price. Yeah, 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 it's good price. It is. And they have a uh, really good coffee here. And they have like something for everyone. Sweet tooth, salty tooth, or even acai bowls. At what are you ordering? I have the French toast and the golden latte. Mm. Or chai latte. Very Bali girl. <laughs> Very Bali girl. <laughs> <laughs> it shows. Yeah. Even in Paris. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Should I order a croissant? Yeah, no, you get whatever you like. How about you, girl? I want an avocado toast mm. and a black tea. Ooh. Bali girl too. Very mm. Bali girl too. Oh, I'm getting pancakes. It's been a while since I've had pancakes. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one she's eating over there. When I get to a restaurant. You know what? What? That was the pancake that you were mentioning last time. Yeah, right? We were talking about yeah. pancakes, it's just manifested yeah. itself. Manifesting or you crave for it last night? And you <laughs> Sometimes you just throw things into the universe and they I just know. happen the next and day. it leads you to it. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. What do you guys get for breakfast? Pancakes or avocado toast? If you could choose, let me know. I'm seated now. The girls went for shopping right before the food came. Typical girls, huh? Anyway, I just love everything about this place. It's like so far to the curb. So much stuff going on. And you kind of like just blend into the city because there's so much noise. And uh, that's what I love. I think I could see myself living in Paris for like one or two months, maybe three. I should try it sometimes. Is that something you guys would be interested in? A series about living in Paris? Here, final results. Maple syrup. You have the avocado toast with um, the salmon and also the pancake, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> Ladies are back. And they yeah, actually bought better. warm clothing. Actually, uh, that, this one is super nice. Yeah, you can yeah. wear it because it's large. Yeah. But I'm saying like, until uh, until the 30th in Amsterdam, so I thought I might need it. <laughs> See? You might need it, Kat. I think it's a good person. I need it. Uh, it's been like a couple of inv invitations from other people to sit down because I've been looking so lonely. Oh. Yeah. Really? Did you guys? Oh, wow. I got a little lonely, but you guys are back. I'm excited. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. This Ooh. is the perfect best morning ever. Mm. Mm. Martin, that's what you're describing last night. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> it was weird. We talked about it. And then it just happened. <laughs> yes. Um the streets of Paris again. Breakfast was wonderful. I'm a happy guy now. So it's our uh, next destination is Disneyland. The girls are doing a photo shoot. The black and white. Apparently. You guys see the Disney logo? That's it. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm 28 years old. <laughs> but I made it to Disneyland. Shit. I actually never had it in my mind to go when I was a child, but I, I'm here now, so I'm, I'm gonna enjoy this. My first Disneyland. <laughs> Are we gonna see Mickey Mouse in here? 
Oh my god. And Ava has the tickets on her phone. Yeah. Through Get Your Guy. I swear to God, all my travels are like non-forced. I just go with the wind, with the flow, where it takes me. And it took me 28 years before I made it here. But I'm here. And it's happening naturally. It's not forced. It's just like, hey, let's go to Disneyland. Yeah, there's time. Those are the best experiences for me. See a pink castle. We made it. We're inside Disneyland now. <laughs> They're playing all this funky music to get you in the mood. But it's really nice. It's like a city, almost like a wild western city, but with all the famous places you've seen in the Disney movies. Whoa. And there's a castle in the very end. You guys see that? My God. Comment below, what's your favorite Disneyland? I might just try to hit up a couple more. I borrowed the jacket from Kat. It makes me look more like Celeb. Oh. <laughs> more like Macklemore. So what do you think so far? No, it's cool. Disneyland. It is cool. Is it different from the other theme parks you've been to? Oh yeah, it's, I've never been to anything like this. Like, looks like a city almost. It looks like a movie set, huh? Yeah. It's cool. Makes me a little bit hungry seeing all this delicious candy. I know. There's restaurants here. Yeah. <laughs> Castle check. All right, we're now going to go into one of my favorite Disney, I don't know, backgrounds, Disney movies, Aladdin. Check it out. You can just for a moment live in the movie. Guys, we are now ordering food inside, ranging from 10 to 17 euro, depending on the meal you're getting. We have a lot of something from every culture here, I think. Rice, chicken, hot dogs, falafel. I might go with the kebab. Guys, I'm standing in front of Tarzan's house. One of my most favorite Disney movies, man. My god. <laughs> Check it out, man. It's like people everywhere here. <laughs> Access. Let's check. Okay, so here in Disneyland, they have something called Premier Access, which you can buy either one uh, ticket that lasts the entire day for 90 euro, or you can buy individually. For 5 to 13 euros. Yeah, this, this was 13, 13 euros. 13 euros. Let's see. It better be worth it. Let's see how long it takes. It's 50 minutes in standard line. Now let's check how long it is in this line. Okay, the long line. <laughs> this is crazy. In Norway, we don't have this concept where you can just buy yourself ahead of the queue. But in Europe, they do. It's quite interesting. I mean, in, in my situation right now, it really helped me. But I obviously I'm thinking about the family spending 50 minutes in the line there. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Whoa.
Guys, I really came on that ride thinking it was gonna be like a small kid ride, wasn't gonna have that much fun. And I was blown away. I was like holding onto my cameras like, yeah, it really took me by surprise. Best 13 euros I've spent in a while. Definitely worth it. It was a four minute line with the Premier Pass instead of 50. So now we have so much time, we can go and do other things. That's it, dude. I, I still can't get over how fun that ride was. Yeah. <laughs> hey, would you say Asians take like Disneyland much more serious than Europeans? Actually, that's yeah. that's true. When you go to Japan, especially, you will see a lot of people dressed up. Yeah, like they will yeah. actually like make a thing out of it. Like full on Mickey Mouse. Yeah. yeah. Thirteen. Oh, All right. Right. It's now thirteen. Hi, Vina and Jinx. So, Good to see you. Meeting hot dog. <laughs> I'm tired in the outlet. <laughs> yeah. Got tired there. So Vina and Jigs is part of the crew we've been traveling with through Europe. They've been out shopping today. So this is the first time we've seen them in this video. Right, we're now entering a part of the theme park which has a lot of crazy rides. And this thing is in my head somewhere. Like from a movie I've seen when I was a child. I just can't place it. It's pretty wild to see it in front of you when you've seen it in a movie. Yeah, you need to bring your kids here before they're 28. <laughs> We're just 28. And what's good here in the park is that it always says how long you have to wait. 15 minutes waiting time. We're about to drive cars. Without the, license. I think you should be driving because you don't have the license. <laughs> so then you get to feel what it's like to drive. Yes. Yeah. I went to Disneyland to drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is probably one of the most funny, funniest uh, attractions for kids. But there's also a couple of adults doing it. Nice, Ave is driving. I have never been driving with Ave before. No, I really sorry, yes. <laughs> Let's see oh, no. how it's gonna go. Oh no. Oh no. We are on the way. Oh, oh. We are driving. Faster. Don't bump, huh? No bumping. <laughs> oh, this so, is so fun. I'm so excited. This is way better than driving in real life. You are so excited. Excited. It's so fun. <laughs> Let's pump it up, pump the beat, pump it up, pump the beat. Woo.